Hello, welcome to this Friday edition of Beer Bros. This episode, we'll be getting and continuing with our raspberry themed and tasting beers. So, let's get right into the next beer and the final beer of the week. So for our final beer of the week, we have from Lindemann's from Bois Lambic. From Bois. That sounds like a pancake. Or you a sound waffle. Like a... Yeah, don't confuse. Belgian waffles. <laughs> and that sounds good. And let me guess, this is from like New Jersey or something? This is from Belgium. So again, this is a cousin of a beer that we drank previously. Um, I believe we tried the uh, Pesh Lambic a few weeks ago. Yes. Once more, oh. Give me your man card. This is once more a uh, Lambic beer, which is naturally sour. Okay. <clears throat> so again, this is something that's gonna have the heavily, heavily flavored with Raspberry or any and kind of uh, fruit or fruit or berry concentrate. Yeah, and that looks like it's even darker than the oh, one yes. we had on Wednesday. Kind of a little bit difficult to tell, I'm sure, from the from the viewpoint, but it is considerably darker. But the same type of beer. This one has less um, carbonation or effervescence. Yeah, definitely less saying. filtered. Yeah, and it's a lot. It's a lot thicker, it seems. So, here's uh, here's to a, let's get a smell going on. Get the strong, strong raspberry smell along with the sour lambic smell. I would definitely concur with that. And again, I hope if this one is anything like the peach counterpart, it's gonna be a great beer. So, let's go ahead and give it a try, Keith. Thank you. Drink you. And that's really good. Yeah. It's got. Wow, that's really the, good. the raspberry comes across, and right after that comes the sour lambic taste. Yeah. And these these typically aren't very strong. Um, speaking from the uh, the Belgian um, uh, lambics, so you don't have to worry about you know getting too drunk if you drink the entire bottle. I think it's only like 3% or 4% by volume. So it, this is something that you could yeah. drink a lot of and be, be okay. Yeah. Um, not condoning anything by any means. It's a refreshing, if you just wanna have a nice spirit or, or beverage uh, with it, something to maybe uh, drink alone on a mm -hmm. hot, hot day to be refreshed and just to get your weekend started or something yeah, along those lines. That. So again, the framboise lambic from uh, Lindemann's. And I think that brings us to this week's selection of Beer of the Week. Okay. And for our Friday and our raspberry edition, Let's go with, wow, this is tough. Uh, let's go with the Founders, Blushing Monk. Okay. So, we have a winner. Excellent. Grand Rapids, Michigan, Founders, with another strong installment of a great beer. Okay. So, I think you made the monks happy. I haven't seen one yet. Yeah, you kind of scared me a little bit, so I, I felt like we had to, you know, make up for any <laughs> discretions or anything that we may have caused. We, wanna, we always want to be on the right side of the monks. Correct. Not so, we've learned that the hard way. Well, I'm here and we're going to change that. So let's uh, go out and try. Again, Founders Blushing Monks and other great beers by Founders and uh, Founders Breweries in Grand Rapids, Michigan. So look for them at your local grocery store, local craft brew section, and have a have a few swigs every now and again. Until then, I think that about wraps it up. 
for this week's selection of raspberry beers and <laughs> beer bro. I really gotta figure out something better. <laughs> so, until next time, thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe. Bring a friend Monday, Tuesday, Friday, every day. Anytime you view our channel, we really appreciate it. So, keep watching, keep tuning in, and we will see you next week. Beer Bros out.